let's move on to the next one. Which I... The next one is Swiss Alps. So, what do we have that we can use for Swiss Alps? Uh, does anyone remember what we use the Evil 4 for? 4 4? It's dirty, so we definitely use it on the dirt. It wouldn't get that dirty on a tarmac race. Hmm. Eh, either way, I don't care. We're just going to drive it anyways. Swiss Alps is definitely one of the easier tracks in the special condition events just because of how insanely wide it is. So, we'll go ahead and use this. And I think, yeah, I think I used it for one race on Grand Canyon, but not both. If I'm not mistaken, I think I used the Evo first, and then the Sterion after that? Unless I won the Sterion from Grand Canyon. I don't fucking know. I don't fucking know at all. But I like the Evo 4, so we're gonna be using the Evo 4. And it is a little bit underpowered. So that might hurt us a little bit, but we'll just see how it goes anyways. And we're up against the 3 and Presley, go figure. But at least overtaking will definitely not be an issue in this race. Whenever it comes to, like, finding a place to overtake, that is. The fact that we're about maybe 30 horsepower down on it, we're probably not going to be able to overtake in the straights unless the slipstream is strong enough. Okay, I took that really slow. Also, probably be safe to go ahead and use the chase cam on this one too. Might as well. Might be a little tricky to drive at first. Can I do a full tuning guide? Well, I don't really see the point in doing it for GT4. Considering this is like a super niche topic and nobody really needs to take advantage of tuning in this game in particular. And for the fact that the physics are different, so it's going to be like an entirely new learning curve if I try to deep dive into that. And uh, we are already leaving it in the dust. Literally. This was uh, 10 times easier than I was expecting it to be. Pringle, the most obscure clothing brand in the world that makes goofy ass socks. Well, whenever I think of Pringle, I think of Pringles and kindness influencers. Or kindness content influencers, rather. Why? Why is this Subaru the most OP rally, the most OP Group A rally car in the game? Already six and a six and a half. Why can't I speak properly? Why is it already six and a half seconds behind? This thing is not upgraded. This is exactly how it came. But uh, yeah, back to what I was talking about. Whenever I think of Pringles, not only do I think about the chips, but now I think of the the kindness content influencers who are like, they'll take a can of Pringles, stuff some, like, stuff 20 bucks inside it or some stupid shit, walk up to some random person in the grocery store of all places, well actually I guess it makes sense for this context, and then they'll ask him, excuse me, my son, or I can't afford these Pringles for my son, and they're his favorite. Do you think he could spare a few bucks so I can buy these Pringles for my son? And then they, yeah, I spin out, nice. And they whip out a, a few bucks. 
And then they're like, congratulations, because you're being so kind, I have a gift for you. And inside the Pringles can is like 20 bucks. It's like super cringy. And I love how scumbag dad, scumbag dad is making fun of all of them. Because it's fucking stupid. And then there's a few greasy ones who are plugging their fake cherries and GoFundMes and donation links telling them to send me money so I can give money to other people. Well, it's an obvious scam and nobody's thinking it's a scam. They're all falling for it. Like, I don't know, just random rant I'm going on. Well, yeah, they are TikToks. That's, that's the thing. Hey, man, what do you do for a living? Can I... Can you take me to your apartment? Yeah, Scumbag Dad. Like, whenever I came across this channel, I was like, oh my god, you're my hero. Thank you for calling out these goofy asses. Hey, it's me, your scumbag dad. So yeah, whenever I see charities and stuff like that, I am super, super skeptical about it. Charities and nonprofits, because the problem with nonprofits is that even though the company is a nonprofit, its employees are still paid. And the loophole to it is that you can overpay the shit out of your employees. Like, I remember I saw a video where this guy was interviewing some lady. I, I don't remember what city she was from, but she had some kind of like community, community management position or some shit like that for a nonprofit. And her salary was about 200k a year. And I guarantee she does absolutely nothing. And they're supposed to be a nonprofit. 200k a year. For a position. I call bullshit. So, that's why I'm really skeptical, skeptical about it. That's, that's why I haven't really tried to do a charity stream yet. Or like any sort of fundraiser to begin with. Because I have a lot of trust issues whenever it comes to money and stuff like that. There's a lot of greasy humans out there who will do anything to take, advan take advantage of people and their money. I don't even know how I got into this rant to begin with, but yeah, there you go. I, that Impreza is just falling further and further behind. Jeezless. No. Oh. oh my gosh, I actually surprised I saved that. Usually whenever I try to correct it, I just snap over Seer out of existence. Yeah, 200k a year for a nonprofit. Bullshit. Who knows what the other employees are making under them, but. I swear it had to be like from Chicago or San Francisco or Portland or. I think it was Portland. If I remember correctly. But yeah. I wish I could visit Switzerland one day. I actually did go to Switzerland in 2017. Easily my favorite country I've ever been to. Although, I am saying that for the fact that I've only been to countries between the UK and Italy. 
where we went on a long Europe trip in 2017. But Switzerland, out of all of them, was definitely my favorite. Germany and Austria were a close second. We stopped at this place called Lucerne in Switzerland, which is a really, really nice uh, lakeside town. And unfortunately, it was really cloudy that day, but we went up this mountain called Mount Pilatus. Pilatus? Pilatus? Something like that? And at the summit, it was just fog all over, so you couldn't really see a good view or anything. But we took this train, like, down the mountain. I don't I don't understand how it goes up the mountain to begin with, but there was, like, an actual trolley or... Not really, like, a full-size train, of course, but it was, like, a trolley-type thing that just went down the mountain slowly. And it was easily one of the best experiences of my life. Switzerland... Uh, has their shit together. So, easily my favorite stop of that entire trip. But, just like the the entirety of the Alps was beautiful. I'm definitely a... Okay, all of a sudden there's an S4 here. Um, considering how bad I smoked the Impreza, I'm gonna give this a try. If the Lancia doesn't wipe out here, then I'm probably going to have to restart. And it looks like that's going to be the case, unfortunately. I got bamboozled on that lap one. I will say, out of the... Okay, come on now. <clears throat> I will say, out of the bigger cities... Uh, I really liked Munich. I liked Florence. Venice was cool, but I wouldn't really say I liked it. And Innsbruck, Austria. Oh, and also Lucerne, of course. So, that is a brief overview of my Europe trip from a while back. <clears throat> And I would love to go again, don't get me wrong. But I'd probably only just hang around the Alps and maybe like go to Monaco or the Nürburgring or something like that. Okay, can you... I didn't mean to enter it right there, but... Lancia, can you please disappear? If it shows up again, I'm just going to get in the, uh, the Pojo. I don't know this, or I don't know why this game is weird like that. Okay, Stratus, I can beat this thing. But, yeah. Um, I actually was kind of sort... I can say this now because it's probably not going to happen. But I was kind of sort of making plans to go to Monaco this year uh, to watch the GT World Series. But because of the whole situation with you-know-what that I mentioned in my previous community post, I don't want to say anything on video just yet because this is a live stream after all. And if I say the wrong things, then I could get into some trouble. And I know how the internet is, so it's best to just not even touch that topic directly. Uh, at least in video form until I'm ready to talk about it, that is. Oh, thank you, Lancey. Yep. But regarding that whole situation, I don't think it's going to happen this year anymore, to be honest. Especially for the fact that I'm also trying to save up for other things. Of which I won't discuss directly about either. But essentially, I just probably won't be able to afford to go to Monaco now, this year. Which it kind of sucks. I was, like, really hoping I could make that happen. But realistically speaking, it's probably not. And if I was... If the channel definitely, like, had really good success this year, then I would have done more than just that. I probably would have flown into, like, uh... Uh... It's this German city that's actually close to the Nürburgring, but I forgot what it was. Uh, Frankfurt. I would have flown into Frankfurt gone to the Nürburgring for one or two days and then drive down to Monaco from there. But 
That's already like ten thousand dollars right off the bat for a trip like that. That's not even caught like considering hotel rooms or food and security money, anything like that. So that's a more of a bucket list trip type thing for me. But if I were to ever go to Europe, it would 100% be for the Nürburgring above anything else. A ski trip to Switzerland would be nice as well. But that's also probably 10 times the cost as just going to Colorado instead to ski. Oh yeah, MotoGP. I need to check when that is at Coda. I think it's... Uh, I really want to watch MotoGP, but I think it's going to be the week before I get paid. So I probably won't be able to go, unfortunately. But I do really want to go to MotoGP, and I already missed NASCAR like last month too, so... Yeah, I could go to Grid Life, potentially, or Grid Life at Laguna Seca. I meant to say Laguna Seca, but it is Grid Life at Laguna Seca. I could go there, but I won't be able to drive. But I've always wanted to just go to Laguna Seca or someplace like that. Okay, the car just wants to go straight to the wall. This direction is proving to be a little bit tougher than... ...the normal direction is. Okay, I got on the brakes way too early there. I am definitely struggling. Alright, use all the track here, use all the track, use all the track. I can't see anything. Can't see shit in Detroit. I have been to Coda and Road Atlanta, as far as, like, well-known tracks go. I think those are the only two so far. Oh my, thank you. I love my, or I love getting my race sabotaged. Yeah, Bathurst will be a cool one to visit as well. This corner is kind of tricky with that jump in the spot that it's in. Alright, don't get on the brakes yet. That just completely destroyed my race. That freaking undeserved penalty on the previous lap. And it also doesn't really help that I don't know this direction much like any reverse direction, really. Because the majority of my time spent on this game has been GT4 Online. Which is all front facing tracks or normal direction.
I don't think I'm going to be catching back up to it. I am closer than the last lap. I just got to make sure I nail everything. Point three seconds behind. Can't see shit. It's just, this track is so wide, it's actually kind of awkward going around it. And, yep. Yeah, none of the moments are. Nope. Wow. Uh, those penalties definitely is... Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold it. Hold it. Oh my... <laughs> Too easy. Too easy. I'll take it. Skill issue on part of the Stratus. <clears throat> Plot twist of the century, ladies and gentlemen. But there we go. A uh, useless rally car, unfortunately, but... Yeah, uh, at least I don't have to do that race all over again. I was, like, this close to restarting on lap four. Like, that close. But I will take every victory that I can get. Even if it's handed to me by sheer luck like that. But there we go. Uh, how much is this? Oh my god, nothing. Lol. Well, 